What's up guys? So we got our new charger in today and it's a Venom Pro Duo, but Venom, they love us so much, they gave us two of them. Oh yes, we got two. Let's open it. Let's see what it's about. Also, check this out, look, look. We got some uh, more parts in, okay? See, this is a, we got this right here. This is aluminum. Um, it holds the servo up. It's better than the plastic one, which is important. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, heat sinks. Heat sinks for the motor. Look something like this. So that way the motor can stay cool as air is rushing over them. Pretty cool, right? Bought some spare lug nuts. You gotta have these. These tire rod nut things, this is what holds the tire onto the car. I can't tell you how many times I've lost these because the tire will fall off. And then when it falls off, you lose this as well. We got some carbon fiber, thick 3D carbon fiber wrap. This is so we can do underneath the chassis. Wait, so yes, this is the Venom Duo Pro. Wait a minute, Pro Duo, yeah, that's what I meant. So it can charge two LiPo batteries at the same time. And apparently it now supports high voltage batteries. That's pretty cool. I kind of took one of them out of the box and I hooked up both of the controller units. You see, you have to, um, you have, to have these because LiPo batteries charge balance type. So, Think of the LiPo battery running this way, all right? And then the cells run up and down, right? Up and down. Well, if you were to fill those with water, you would have to fill one cell at a time, right? Fill it all the way to the top and then go to the next cell. Fill it all the way to the top and then go to the next cell on the battery and then fill it all the way to the top, right? That's how you would charge a battery normally. Well, with LiPo batteries, you have to charge all 10% across the bottom of the board. So, meaning that if you have six cells in the battery, all six cells have to be at 10% at the exact same time while the battery charges. So, all six cells have to be at 20%, then 30% then 40%, and then 80%, and then all the way to 100% charge. And it needs to be balanced while it's doing all of that because it has to make sure that it puts 10% charge in all of the cells at the exact same time every time. And it needs a balancing unit to do that, and that's what this thing does. Um, some things have just got delivered. So I figured I'd go ahead and open it with you guys. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is the uh, the shaft balancer, right? Drive shaft, high speed support set. Yeah, cool. Need that? Anything else in there? No. And let's open the next one. Okay, so... Oh, alright. These are our rear CVD. Our rear CVD shafts. The, the rear current currently just has dog bones in it. So I wanted to go with a full... CVD set, um, which looking at this, I don't think that's what this is either. Rear drive shaft. Oh, you know what? This is my spare. I guess the other one hasn't arrived yet. But this is our spare CVD set because uh, the back is dog bones, and if you ever lose a back tire or a back drive shaft, you'll lose the dog bone. So that's important to have spares. Nothing else in there. All right, let's 
see what's in this one. So on eBay, right, I've been trying to find this top piece right here, okay, because the current one in the truck is plastic, and I've, and I've been looking for an aluminum one or even a carbon fiber one. Well, this one's aluminum. So this guy was selling the whole assembly set, the whole front end assembly, this part right here. I think for like 15 bucks so I jumped on it doesn't hurt to have all this extra spare stuff I mean the springs the, the screws the caps the shafts the support bracket that goes in between I mean who knows you might land real hard one day and bend that and you might need a spare so spare part good all right now this thing What are these? Mm. Uh, ball bearing set. Very nice, very nice. Oh, this. This is a nice little kit of, of things that you got to have. I'm gonna do a video of 10 things that you must need for a new beginner. And a kit like this is something that you need. The O-rings, the, the clips, all the small little screw washers, um, those drive shaft pins, all that stuff you lose or can lose. Let's see here, what is this? These are our new black carbon fiber hubs. Yeah, this is gonna look good. Here, here let's open this. Check that out. It's aluminum with carbon fiber. And it comes with bearings, which is a nice. Usually you have to buy the bearings separately. The current hub assembly that's on the car is all plastic. So this, this is definitely going to make it a lot stronger. I just had a crazy idea. This is a computer heat sink. Well, what if I mounted it to the RC car? Would that work? Ooh, stay tuned guys. Y'all don't want to miss that. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, make sure to leave a like. If you have a comment, comment below. Real quick before we go, I dug these out of the archives. I painted these probably 15 years ago. And I thought maybe I would show it to you guys. This is my VW Red Bug, Red Devil body. And then, then I have the blue axial body that I painted a long time ago. Cool, right? I uh, thought I would show these to you guys real quick. Oh, speaking of showing to you guys, I've made quite a bit of progress. Check this out, our charger came in. Um, that's pretty cool. Two of them, awesome, whatever. 
Uh, the cords and stuff, uh, none of them fit any of the batteries that we have or our car so we actually had to get an adapter so i said forget all that and i bought a whole nother battery system so now i have three battery chargers these two i will box up and keep for myself as backups and we'll use the new one to come um i've kind of i'm starting to get the shop a little bit organized it's not a hundred percent yet um, as you can see I'm starting to get it kind of the way we want it Put some things on the wall and organize it the best I could uh, we got with all of our this is going to be our computer section stuff as you can tell we're still working on it we got a long way to go a lot of a lot of things to do but I believe that it's going to be exactly how we want it. Um, I kind of got this all hung, put that up, and got this kind of cleaned up and stuff. So yeah, we're making progress. It's uh, It looks a lot better than the last time you, you guys saw it. I know that much, right? <laughs> But all right, I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all be cool.